Biden speaks with Bill Clinton after former president's hospitalization, well, I wanted to see how he was doing, and because I've been trying to get a hold of him, and he's doing fine, he really is Biden told reporters in Connecticut. And he's going to be released from the hospital, and we talked about, which we were going to do before, getting together. Biden acknowledged he hadn't seen Clinton, in a while, but said he was looking forward to having him, come over, and have some lunch and talk, adding that the former president, was very encouraging about why he thought the politics, I was pursuing made sense. He's not in any serious condition. He's getting out shortly, as I understand it. Whether that's tomorrow, or the next day, I don't know, Biden said. Biden reached Clinton in the hospital and they had a nice chat, which included catching up on the latest in politics, according to a source familiar with the conversation. The two men discussed the closely watched upcoming election and the tight governor's contest in Virginia where Clinton's old friend Terry McAuliffe is running in a consequential race against Trump-endorsed Republican Glenn Youngkin. The source would not share further details. McAuliffe is a former campaign co-chair for both the Clintons and is also the former DNC chair, and the Virginia race is being viewed as a test between Biden and Trump candidates in a critical state. McAuliffe has discussed the challenge of Democratic voter apathy and getting out the vote. Biden alluded to the impending conversation during an event earlier in the day. I know you asking about President Clinton, I've been exchanging calls Biden said in Connecticut. Knocking on the lectern, he added, he seems to be, God willing, doing well. And so when I talk to him, I'll let you all know. The former president's doctors said urologic infections are very common in older people, and they are easily treated, although they can quickly spread to the bloodstream. Clinton was expected to be given intravenous antibiotics until Friday, when he would likely be switched to oral antibiotics. His vital measurements are all stable, the doctors said. Clinton, 75, had quadruple bypass heart surgery in 2004 and had two stents inserted to open one artery in 2010. Clinton spokesman Angel Urena said Thursday that the former president was on the mend and in good spirits. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.